we break down some of the tough projects that you may encounter on the job. I'm Chris. And I'm Yvonne. And this is the Test Lab. Today, we're gonna talk a little bit about something we get a ton of requests for, adding hidden kitchen outlets. That's right. Not only is this a really cool design move, but it's a way that you could actually upsell to your client while giving them something that they'll love for years to come. The most popular request we have laid out right here in front of you. Number one, the under cabinet outlet. Number two, the in drawer outlet. And number three, the super sneaky pop-up countertop outlet. First, let's explore the under cabinet outlet and how we get it installed. Let's get to work. When we help our clients install their kitchen outlets, we like to do it during the renovation. So if you can plan out the placement of your client's outlets before you get started with the renovation, you really have a lot more options to help make them invisible. But if you're doing a light remodel, you're just gonna have to work with what your client already has. Right, but of course, if they're on a crawl space or a basement, we can work with that, we can make some things happen. But if they're on a concrete slab, it's gonna be tough. And here's some ways to break the bad news to them. You may want to take out a second mortgage. Mm. You win some, you lose some. Looks like you just lost one. We all want things in life. We don't always get what we want. Look, I want a third two inch waist. It's not happening. So you're renovating your client's home and you've just installed their brand new, beautiful tile backsplash. But all your client is seeing are these outlets. But to avoid that, it all starts with the pre-planning. When you have your licensed electrician doing the roughing, you wanna refer back to your cabinet design and have them pop the wires out just underneath your cabinets. You're gonna take your hardware and you're gonna attach it right under here and just wire it up accordingly. White with the white, black with the black, neutral with the neutral, you know. No brainer, we do this every single day. This is where you're gonna make your first junction for the other receptacles, so on and so forth. But remember, this is a wet space area, so you wanna make sure that you tie this in back to some type of GFCI breaker or receptacle. Now, if you have a client that comes to you and they already have an existing backsplash, but they wanna do this in their home, that's where it gets a little tricky and messy and expensive. You're gonna have to tear out all of their backsplash. You're gonna have to tear out a lot of their drywall in order to rough it from the beginning. So for a lot of clients, this is just a little too much. And to be honest, we don't recommend it. But with the right planning, we can give our customers exactly what they want. Just like that. Next up is one of my personal favorites, the hidden drawer outlet. Why I love this is because most of our clients always have a junk drawer, but with this drawer, you're actually able to hide away your devices and charge them at the same time. True, but first we have to determine how we're actually getting power to the island. Are we going through the crawl space, through the basement, or that dreadful concrete slab? You're gonna have to install an interior receptacle here. It's best to install it towards the rear of the cabinet, looking out for any drawer glides, and of course, any drawers. So another thing you wanna keep in mind is that you leave enough play in the cord so you can open up the drawer all of the way. And of course, if you already have power here, then this is easy peasy. Otherwise, that's a whole nother story, a whole nother episode. So the last outlet we wanna to talk to you about today is the hidden pop-up outlet. Ooh. <laughs> so we have a ton of clients that ask for this outlet in their island for a lot of different reasons. They may have kids or they may have animals and they wanna keep their outlets away from the sides of their island or their floors. They may have an extra large island where they wanna add some more outlets throughout or they may have custom cabinetry and they don't wanna mess with the integrity of their cabinets. What do you think, Chris? Well, honestly, I just do what you tell me to do. Other than that, when it comes to power, it's all the same like the last two options that we discussed. But the main thing is, is to make sure that you are using the right type of hole saw for the countertop that you're dealing with. I know it goes without saying, but you can't use the same type of hole saw on a butcher block that you would on a stone countertop because you run the risk of cracking it. And you know what they say, you break, you buy. 
So you want to make sure that you have clear communication with the client on the position of this outlet because once you make that first cut, there is no going back. So I think we can all agree that this is a great way to mix design and functionality. Right. And remember, the most important thing is to determine when you can actually install these outlets. In most cases, the best time to do it is during a full renovation because of power accessibility. Thanks for letting us take you inside some of the best ways to help a client hide their kitchen outlets. Yep. Make sure to like and subscribe and check out our other videos for more important do's and don'ts on the job.